Hello everyone, welcome back with our space video today. We're back on Galenor SPS, one of the most unique Ruski Private Stars out there today, ladies and gentlemen. We are gonna be recording a brand new video in here. I'm very excited. This is a video for everybody planning to start out on a very amazing server right here. The brand new starters that got released are super fun. We're gonna go ahead and complete all of those bad boys. You're gonna see the rewards, they're absolutely amazing. But first things first, the giveaway is gonna be a hundred dollars worth of soul credit to one lucky winner. All you have to do for that one is like the video, comment, check your name down below, and of course, be subscribed to my channel. Check out Galeno with the links down below. Super unique server. Unfortunately, the audio is going to be a little bit cracked at the beginning. Sorry for that one. It's going to get fixed throughout the video. Some settings were messed up for my side. But anyway, enjoy the video right here. Brand new style to toss, as well as TOA review. This is going to be fun. Alrighty, boys. So since I definitely didn't like that voice at all, I'm going to go out and do a voiceover. That's completely fine. Here we go. These are these stars, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, a big variety of different tasks we're going to go ahead and be completing today. Uh, we get it also the lovely starter set right here, including also the starter weapon, as well as 25 million cash. The task not taking too long, they're really good fun. The first one is to go ahead and kill 25 rock craps. As we can see right here, we're using Bast and Slot Mage. This stuff right here is absolutely insane. I love the animation. It is crazy freaking OP, and just everything is amazing. We're going to be testing it later on as well on TOA, as well as on some bosses. But this right here is obtained through the lovely TOA update. So this brand new rate is going to be definitely a big focus for end gamers right here. And as you can see, this custom weapon right here is just absolute freaking mental. So first one completed right here. The next one is going to be to kill 10 King Black Dragons right there. Easy freaking peasy, of course, for us right here with this freaking stuff. Look at those 50s right there. 96, bro. And I think also that we've wood showed it one of those KBDs right here, which is even crazier. You can hit up to 600, someone told me, on my stream as well. So that is absolute crazy. So killing 10 of those was actually really, really quick and really good fun as well. Especially with the Luna set as well on it. We got fully maxed out DPS right here. And I think that one was literally the one shot. I think that KBD had 250 HP and I think we literally one shot this bad boy. I'm really sorry KBD, but we're so freaking broken. And also the models used for those sets right here is so nice. We've killed the 10. King Black Range right here. Next one is to kill bandits. In total 25. This was actually super easy as well. They're even freaking aggroing you, dude. And while killing those bad boys, we had some global bosses that I would like to show you. So right here, we've got the Phoenix, which is the super donator box right here. Whenever you go and see that bad boy spawn, make sure to teleport there and kill those bad boys. I think I'm even top DPS right here, bro. All those 195 damages you see is literally for a buzz. Player count wise, I think we picked around 75 to 80 players online for your player count. So very, very nice community. Very decent one. And this right here are the outfits. Super OP as well on Galenor. If you guys manage to get one of those outfits, they're super freaking OP. We've also got the Lord Primal. Definitely a very nice quality of life boss, which is dropping the Collector Orb. Can definitely recommend to go ahead and follow me because the Collector Orb right there is going to be picking up all your items. It's super nice. You can also upgrade that into an upgrade version. Super freaking OP. Definitely make sure to be grinding the Lord Primal when it's up. We've called the 25 bandits. Next task on the list is to go ahead and bury 50 bones in total. Super easy. Just need to go ahead and get yourself the bones. Completed that one. Next on the list, feed 50 times. That is also a very, very easy task. So you guys see, when you guys are going to be joining, you can literally do all those tasks very, very easily. Next on the list, supporter. Vote one time. That is just helping out the server a lot, so make sure we vote in. Vote it. Took me literally a minute to do that, and we've got some really nice rewards. Again, you help out the server, you get really nice rewards for it. It's a win-win situation. Make sure we vote in every single day. Next on the list, we've got Light 10 Logs on Fire. Sorry for that one. It's actually a funny one, because I didn't have any logs, and what I did was actually make a freaking bonfire after I got the entire logs. It is very important that you actually go ahead and burn them one by one. Do not make a bonfire. It's not counting towards the lovely, um, well, start task right there. Also, while playing the game, you guys will be completing a bunch of achievements, which are super freaking nice to be farming. And uh, yeah, achievements definitely worth to be grinding as well. Alrighty, we've completed the 10 woods right here. Next up, we have to equip a dragon scimitar. That is super easy. And uh, yeah. That one was completed literally just by wearing that one. And the final task we have to go ahead and do 
is got 99 strength, which we already had, of course. And we've just completed all these starter tasks. Look at that. We've got this beautiful custom set right here, including also this lovely bow right here. Looking super freaking nice. And of course, we got to go ahead and test it out. So stats wise, 202 in freaking attack bonus and range. Super freaking nice. Defense bonus also looking very, very yummy. And now we got to go ahead and test it out on some proper NPCs right here. AKA the lovely bandits, which are gonna be attacking us anyway. One thing I've realized right off the bat, the attack speed is absolutely nice. As we'll see in a second, we are attacking very quick. Look at that, almost double hitting right there. So five into the 10 right there, etc. And uh, yeah, I think I've hit even a fucking 30 with it. So this boat is actually very, very strong, very quick attacking. So you definitely wanna be grinding those starters when joining with the links down below. And of course, claim also the ref code, ladies and gentlemen for some easy rewards. After that, we've decided to go ahead and start some TOA grinds. I'm super excited. We've hopped back on the main account right here. Got ourselves the full best slot mage gear right here. And uh, yeah, we gotta go right into TOA right here. As you can see all the different loot you guys will be able to collect from it looking super freaking nice. Of course, everything going towards Bastion Slot. There's the lobby right here. You want to go ahead and join the boys through that portal in the middle right there. There is a bunch of mechanics you guys need to learn. It's 101. It's just the warden room though with all its phases. So it is pretty freaking grindy. But when you learn everything, it's super fun. We've joined the group and we're going right into it. Let's see how this goes. Alrighty, we are into the lovely boss fight right here ready. It is very interesting because you need to learn a lot about this raid right here. There's so many mechanics and everything. Um, but yeah, I have good coaches right here. Shout out to Mr. Kid and Coke as well as Iron Chef right here. We love it. And we just got fucking dish right here. After you die, you're going to get a ghost and you can spectate from here right there. Look at this bad boy right here. This looks so freaking nice, bro. The animation everything. 101 old school runescape. This is very, very clean. And as you can see, you actually need to learn all the mechanics in order to survive this. All right, here we go. After you get to that phase, you want to kill the core to complete this phase. Let's freaking get it. Okay, I just got so clapped on this wave right here. It's not even funny. You need to move around. So that's definitely a mechanic you need to learn and shit. Um, but yeah, it seems like you move right. Then you move left. Then you walk to the middle. Then again to the right. Then you go back to the, the right. You get the idea, right? I didn't know about that. Well, GG. So as you guys can see right there, there's a bunch of mechanics you actually need to learn. I think in total, it's going to be like three waves for 2A. And everything is working 101 all screen. So there's a difference. You guys will have your custom items with extra damage, which is super freaking cool. And um, yeah, this is very exciting. Huge shout out to my man right here, who's actually doing the entire thing solo. And as you can see, that's another freaking mechanic right here that you have to go ahead and learn. And uh, yeah, it looks absolutely insane. It's a lot of moving, that's for sure. And if you guys walk a different, like a wrong tile, you're going to get insane DPS. And we did complete the lovely two-way right here. Of course, thanks to Mr. Kid and Coke right here. Let's go ahead and get our lovely reward. And I've got myself 34 great jobs. All right, I have the chat. Another big content piece on Gelenor is definitely the upgrade interface right here so there's a bunch of customizers you guys will be able to go ahead and upgrade which is super nice look at that ultra ring five barzaka rings this bad boy together with a barzaka icon to this one right here uh the same goes for rage as well as mage one then we have the balator ring as well fucking hell okay ring of the god's eye and so many other things you guys will be able to upgrade and as we can see there's also even more stuff more craziness all in this interface right here and the cool thing is it's starting like from the first stuff you guys want to run all the way to best and slot stuff and you guys get the day there's so much custom content it's actually insane and over here we have also all the bright new lovely um toa items included as well so that's the mazori mask x which requires a ceramic one as well as the mazori one demonic virtues i've seen this before actually that we've used this before as well sanguine tova oh boy tova helms Master Helmet and the Ancient Blood Ornament Kit. Now we have the Curse Wounds as well. Oh, freaking moly. That is absolutely freaking insane. You guys get the day. That's over there is the Bastion Slot stuff on Galenor. So there's also a custom Halloween event released on Galenor that you guys will be able to go out and grind. This right here is the boss itself. Looks super freaking nice. I love the model and also the animations and everything. The Varvorvis right here. And as you can see, he's dropping a bunch of new custom items specifically just for the Halloween season. So that is just absolute freaking nutty right here. So let's go ahead and kill this bad boy. And we've killed also the Halloween boss right here for the end. Let's see what we're going to be getting. 
Ooh, nice. Donut box. Damn. With some damage, mage damage boosters and awesome Halloween tokens. Super nice. Alrighty, that is going to be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It was super fun. Brand new Star Stars. Make sure we grind those, ladies and gentlemen. Tumble's Armor Scout was also really good fun. Next time, we're going to be grinding it even more. Maybe we're going to get lucky as well. Hope you enjoyed the video. Smash the like button, comment, share your name, down below, and be subscribed to my channel. Check out Galenor with the links down below. Super unique, Rootscape Private server. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a good one and peace out.